If you're looking for ways to make free listening comprehension material for English classes, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you what I think is the most impressive text to video tool that I've so far come along. You literally write in a description of the video you want, choose a voice, give it a title, choose the length and click on a button and the video is produced, which you could then use in class with your students. There is a free option. There are lots of different voices to choose from, including accents from England and from America. You can even go in and edit the text afterwards if you want to change, if you think Think, for example, that the level is too high or too low. This really is a tool to try out. We're very surprised that it's free. We're very surprised uh, on the quality of the videos as well. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. If you do any of those things, it will really help my channel to get up the YouTube rankings. Right, let's get started. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you wanna try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there. And there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works. And I'll also put that in the description. Okay, so I'm going to log in with my Google account. So I'm going to click here. I've already been working with this uh, technology quite extensively now. We've made about 10 different videos in total. Now what this is really good for, it's, it's good for many things, but what I want to concentrate on in this video is that we can get it to make listening comprehension material that we can use with our students. Now all you need to do is to, this is the opening page okay is choose the workflow and I will always say just choose recent um, YouTube explainer just choose that okay now all you need to do here is put a title in and then a detailed description of exactly what you want in the video so let me just show you Now all you need to do now is fill in the information. So we know it's a YouTube explainer video. I want it to be for about three minutes. I've given it a, a title, five places to visit in London. And then I've put in here a description. This video focuses on five great places to visit in London. I want the video to include information about Big Ben, the London Eye, Westminster Palace, the British Museum and Greenwich, okay? I want light, happy music. So I've written all of this and I'm gonna choose a male voice and then notice that I get lots of different accents, but I think appropriate for this one would be a British accent if it's possible. And there it is, young British voice and the watermark the text or well, that's simply what, when I signed in and created my account the name I used and I want to use iStock video content in other words that's stuff that they provide okay so I'm not going to provide any videos I click on the continue button and it gives me basically a summary. Now I can come in and add to this if I wanna write anything more to give more detail. I've never tried, for example, to talk about the level that I want the video to be at, but knowing that this is an AI tool, I'm presuming it would work. So let's actually try that a little bit just to see if it does work. So I've just added in some extra information here, yeah? Can you keep the level simple as I want non-native speakers to understand the video, okay? So let's, we're all ready. I'm quite happy with all this. And all I need to do now is click on the magic button, which is this one here. It is that simple. One thing I will point out, the more of an explanation you give, the more control over the content of the video that you will have. However, you can edit the video afterwards. You can change images and you can change the script that is produced. So it's very easy to use. So I click on this button here, generate video, and off we go. Now, you do need to wait a while, and often you're in a queue 
Remember, this is a free account, so it's not going to be super fast. So you could probably go off and make a cup of tea or quickly do something and then come back. And it will actually provide you with information about where you are in the queue and how long it's going to take. Sometimes it takes up to 10 minutes to make the video, but that does depend on the length. Remember, we only asked for a very short video. Now, it's just asking for a little bit more information here. I'm just gonna click on continue because it says tourist, bright, YouTube. Yes, that's the way I want it. Click on that. And now it's actually starting to queue for me and tell me how long it's gonna take. And it's analyzing the information. In fact, it looks like I'm very lucky today and I'm not even gonna be in the queue. It's actually gonna start to generate the video immediately. Now the video is ready and I just want to point out a couple of things. First of all, if you want to download the video already, obviously the best thing would be to play it first, check that you're happy with it. And if you are happy with it, you can just export and that would download it onto your computer and it would be in your downloads. But you may want to edit and this is the most interesting bit because you can go in and change the script and even change the scenes so what we do is we're just going to play a couple of seconds of the video just to get an idea of the quality and then we're going to come back and edit so let's start by just playing a little bit of the video by clicking on this button here so let's play a little bit of the video planning a trip to london wondering what are the top five spots that you absolutely must visit we're about to take a fascinating journey through London's iconic Big Ben, the London Eye, Westminster Palace, the British Museum and Greenwich. Stay tuned as we count down the top five must-visit places in London. Starting our countdown at number five, we have the iconic... Okay, so I mean the accent is excellent. It's obviously a very typical sort of British sounding accent, very clear. Um, and you know you might be happy with that video and play it through and say yeah perfect that's the way I want the video to be you could use it as listening comprehension material for your students in the classroom very easily um, but of course the other thing that you can do and this is really when it gets interesting is that you can click on the edit button and this allows us to edit both the media and I'll show you this and the script so let's look at these two options just a really quick break from the video to talk about the AI course that we run. We normally run it about three or four times the year and we cover about six different tools. The idea is that you receive a webinar with me online first and then you get access to a six part video course where I show you lots of the best AI tools and lots of practical ideas that you can either use in class or there are also things that you can show to the students to help them to become more autonomous and study. If you're interested, just add your name to the waiting list. I will put the link at the top of the description and just put your name and email address and the next time I'm running the course, I will let you know. The price is very cheap, it's just 15 pounds. Remember, you get a webinar and then access to the course there's nothing else. The videos are very, very high quality. One thing just to keep very clear, we do not use your email address for anything else. We simply inform you of when the next course is coming up. And if you're not interested, then we simply delete the list. So we won't be using your data for anything else. We don't need to. We already have 70,000 plus subscribers on YouTube and 11,000 people signed up to the newsletter. Hopefully some of you will decide to join us. As I said, link below in the description. Just add your email address and the next time we run the course, we'll let you know. So let's click on the option to edit the script and you can see the whole scripts on the screen and you can just come in at any point now and edit the script. So let's just do a couple of examples to see what we can do. So what you could do is come in and try to make, for example, the text a little bit easier. OK, for it, let's just, you know, let's say I just come in here and I just want to simply change the word completed for the word finished. I could just come in and edit any of um, the words, yeah, that I've got here, this magnificent clock, so we're just gonna just take that out and just say, this clock tower is a symbol, okay? I could just basically come in and edit anything. Now, once I've done the editing, and you can see it works in chapters, and there are five chapters dealing with the five different things that we wanna focus on in London, we would then click on Apply Changes, and those are, are changes will be applied, and the 
actual commentary will reflect the new version. So even the commentary will change and you can see now what it's doing is actually um, producing now the new voice to go along with our altered script. And this is one of the reasons why this tool could be so useful for students because they also could go in and edit their scripts. And of course, then from a language learning point of view, it's very, very rich. Now, the media changes are a little bit trickier and I'm going to show you how they work now. So let's click on edit media. Now, you have to remember that basically this system is using free media, free stock video that it has permission to use. And if we kind of come to the top of the screen here and just click here, you'll notice that you've got the various videos. Let's say, for example, I wanted to change this video here, okay, with the video of Big Ben, okay? So I click on it. And now what I can do is I can search for another video about Big Ben. So I'm gonna put in Big Ben here and search for another video from the stock. So I'm just pressing enter, okay? And I should have told you not to choose premium stock because we don't want to pay for anything. So we're going to click that off, okay? And use only free stock. And now what I can do, remember I've clicked on this section here, is I could choose another video that I prefer. So let's say, for example, I like the look of this one here. So I click on that and it will replace straight away that video. So let's go through that process again to make it absolutely clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on in the video. So I'm going to go up to a new, another section of the video, okay? So we've got all this different imagery here. And we'll, for example, let's move on to where we're looking at uh, the British Museum or, yeah, okay, let's take the British Museum. So I'm going to click on this part of the video. So I'm clicking here and I've decided I don't like this part of the video. So again, I calm down to here. And what I need to do is obviously to, sh to basically search for, um, so I'm gonna click here this time and not Big Ben, but this time I'm gonna click on the British Museum. And of course it will give me lots of footage, video footage, so here we go, British Museum, press enter. So it's looking for stock video examples of British Museum content. And what I can do, I've already selected the section that I want to change. I could come in and choose another video. For example, I might want to choose this one, just click on replace, and immediately it's been updated with a new video. Now, in reality, of course, you'd really want to be familiar, first of all, with the video. Don't forget to apply any changes. And of course, that means, again, that it's going to remake the video with these changes. But again, you can see the potential pro for producing content that you can use in the class with your students' listening material. When you've finished making your edits, click on back. That brings you back to the tool. And then here you can click on export and just click on export video. A couple of little tips. You want to use stock watermarks because obviously you're not going to pay for it you want normal because obviously you're not going to pay for it and you're going to want i think you can have it at 720 without paying this is going to be the free option and then you would click on continue and that's now going to download into your downloads and that video will be obviously accessible to you can share it with your students upload it onto moodle upload it onto your course etc so just to confirm that it did download, let's just click on my downloads. So I click here, I'm on my downloads. I can see that video. There it is. And I'm gonna double click on it and quickly just open it up. And let's have a look at the actual final video downloaded onto London, my computer. Wondering what are the top five spots that you absolutely must visit? We're about to take a fascinating journey through London's iconic Big Ben, the London Eye, Westminster Palace, the British Museum and Greenwich. Stay tuned as we count down the top five must-visit places in London. Starting our countdown at number five, we have the iconic Big... I think this is excellent. Obviously, there are lots of considerations here. It's using native voices. It does seem that we've only got a certain amount of control over the level unless we go in and edit the video. So that does create a little bit more work. It's probably not appropriate for really low levels unless you went in and completely changed the uh, script, you could of course just write your own script out and paste it in. 
but certainly as a tool to try out with your students producing high quality video material uh, that you don't really need to do any more than just simply writing what you're requiring and of course it could be on a whole range of different topics. I've been trying it out with advice to learn languages, I did one on how to keep fit in old age, I did another one about eating healthily and the videos were all excellent. Definitely worth giving it a try, particularly as it's a free tool. Okay, really hope you liked that video and if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos available. There's a special section on AI which is proving very popular. Look out also on the front page for some of the more popular videos. You can scroll down and see lots of examples. And look out also for any webinars that I'm doing because they're often free and sponsored by various organizations as well as, of course, the courses that I run. You can also contact me from this website and if you want to, if you really want to keep up with my work, I suggest signing up to the news newsletter. There are 11,000 subscribers and also if you sign up at the moment, you'll get a free 14 part video course. I send you a video about every three or four days in how to use technology in your language teaching. And there are no tricks. I don't suddenly ask you for money. Nearly everything I recommend is free. I think there are just two technologies or three technologies that I focus on that are paid, but everything else that I focus on is free. I'm going to leave a couple more videos on the screen now about other AI technologies and really hope you found that video useful.